Welcome to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to attach this uh, corn barrel hoist. I think that's the best thing I can call it. But uh, this is the rig setup right here. If you haven't seen it before, how I made it, I'll put a link down below. But we're going to go up in that tree right there. I got all my stuff in the back of the uh, trailer. We're going to get to it right now. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to mount this up in the tree. I'm all by myself today. It's early in the morning and she's cool. Let's get to her. Well, I just thought I'd show you the setup before I actually go up the ladder. And it's about 14 feet up to there. And all I've done is got my pole saw just kind of zipped off the uh, branches as I went up on that spruce. So let's get up there and let's attach this thing. Okay, so the most important thing is don't fall off the ladder. Okay, where are we going to mount this baby? Okay, you know what? If I mount it right here, I'm going to hit into them branches there. So I got to lower this down a bit. Plan B. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay. There we go. I'll just get myself a screw here. Man, you wouldn't want to drop this screw either. Okay. Where are we going to put it? I'd say right about there. And put another one on the bottom. Set it and forget it. Okay, this is the easy part. I've said that before. Okay. On the end of the, uh, the tubing here, I filled it full of white lithium grease so it doesn't rust onto the stub shaft. And now we'll just get this on here. Beautiful. Okay, now you're wondering what's missing. Well, I'm going to show you next. Well, there we are right there. Okay, so I got the winch just kind of uh, rigged on to a, a strap there and uh, I'll show you the hookup I got on there just one of these very simple to do and I had this old strap just sitting around in this old uh, here we go right there I'll just show you it there so this has been about this is about 20 years old this old thing here and uh, this ratchet strap will just hold that strap in there and I just wound it around here just to keep the snow and everything off it. I mean you got a lot of excess anyways and uh, if we just kind of go up the tree a bit here there we go right there. Now that's what the holes were for so you could put a couple of ratchets and these are 1,000 pounds each so I mean there's no problem this holding in there and you could see how nice that goes around the tree and it just uh, ratchet straps on there real easy. Now that's not going to go nowhere. So let's get the grain barrel out and uh, fill her full of corn and hoist her up. Well we got the corn all in the barrel. It's ready to go and uh, so it does take a bag and a half, so I only put one bag in for now. And if you look on the bottom there, I got one of them timers. And I'm only setting that for five seconds once a day at 9.30 a.m. And uh, you know what? That will, uh, that will spin just under a pound in uh, five seconds. So let's start hoisting this up and let's see if she all comes together like I hope. Okay, you guys ready? Let's see if this idea works. Oh, that's a lot. 
lot of fending on that. I'm surprised it doesn't fend that much. She's not going off the ground yet. Wow. I'm going to show you how much that's bending up there. Can you guys see the bend in that? I would have never thought that that started to bend like that. Would you? Now you got me thinking whether 80 pounds is actually too much weight for that little bar. Plan B. Well, this is my plan B here. So what I've decided to do is I had a, a cable. I attached it to the end there. See on the end right there? And brought it over the tree, wrapped it around a couple of times and stuck another greasy ratchet strap on there. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to do the trick. It's got a little bit of a bend to it, but you know what? I'm hoping it's going to work. So I set the timer here for 9.30. And while I'm up there, yeah, scared the bejesus out of me up there with that spinner going off for five seconds. So let's see if we can get this thing cranked up. She's lifting off the ground. You know, first thing I got to do is I got too much line on here. So it makes it difficult to, to wind her up. And I'll fix that the next time I'm up here. I got too much line and it wants to, to bind on here. See, it's pulling all off to one side. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower this back down and I gotta get some of this line off because this is just driving me nuts. Well, this is a half an hour later and uh, I'll show you what I got going on here. Yeah, I had to cut all this cable here. Way too much cable. I mean, that's a bird's nest right there already, but I mean, it's a lot better than before. And first I thought, oh, maybe my hacksaw will cut it. I thought, oh, I'll try these side cutters. Guys, the side cutters here, this is a real good pair of side cutters. It cut her. Okay, so while I was back at the shop, I found Let's see if I can just show you here. Now, we go from the end here all the way over to the tree. And what I did is I found one of these. Yeah. So that's a lot better than, uh, you know, fooling around with uh, the ratchet strap and everything. So we'll give this a try and we'll see how this one goes. But I do have a better plan for this pole and of course on the next one that I put up I'm gonna take all that extra line out of there first so let's see if we can get this thing cranked up finally well here we go
Well, I'd say that was a success. And you know what? Taking that extra line off made a huge difference. Guys, I'm saying we're about seven feet off the ground there or better. And I tell you what I'm gonna do. I've got another one of these I have to set up for about another two weeks, three weeks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this beam back to, the, uh, to my shop and I'm gonna weld a little bit of a gusset on here so this doesn't bend. But I think the theory is sound and you know, yeah, I'd run a cable along here, which is fine. But tell you what, I'm gonna try putting a gusset up here. You'll see it on the next one I put up. It's up there guys. So I think that was a success as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you have to actually trial and error, right? I mean, I don't know who can actually build something, put it up there and guaranteed it's gonna go as you want it. But you could see how easy it is to mount the bracket to the tree. That's the main part. And then the only thing I have to straighten out is yeah, take all that extra cable off the winch and uh, support that main beam with a couple of gussets that'll stop it from bending. And I think it's a good project. And I think one that everybody can actually do if they wanna have a corn barrel raised up in the air eight feet. Because that, that's up there, guys. Okay, thank you very much for joining me here today. And look forward to the next time I'm going to try putting another one up. And hopefully, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot faster. And maybe have a couple of guests, too. You guys take care. Come back again if you've ever seen this channel before. Well, you're welcome to subscribe. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.